In this video, we'll show you how to use one of the most popular tools on our website, the Inverse Square Law Calculator. If you want to learn more about the core concepts related to sound, feel free to check out our video on how to calculate noise at different distances from the source. For a quick background, you can find the link in the description box below. The sound attenuation or inverse square law calculator allows us to determine the sound level of an object at a certain distance from that object, provided that we know the noise level at a certain distance of said object already. Tested sound pressure levels are commonly given at one meter, therefore these are the only two values you need to use the tool. The first field in the calculator is for the known sound pressure level, which can be entered here. Keeping in line with our industrial example mentioned earlier, I will be using a sound pressure level here of 85 dBA at 1 meter, as this value is very commonly used as the equipment sound limit in industries for industrial equipment. Therefore, in this field, I will enter the value 85. Next, the user will have to select whether the distance values are going to be entered in metric or imperial units. By default, metric is selected, so if your distance is in metric, you can just leave this as it is. Next, you will want to fill in the distance from the source for known sound pressure level field. This will be the distance that your known sound pressure level was tested from. Sound pressure levels are commonly defined at a distance of 1 meter. Therefore, we will enter 1 meter as per our example sound pressure level mentioned earlier. Lastly, we have the distance from source to position R2 field. This is the field that you will fill in the distance at which you will want to see what the sound level has attenuated to, which can be seen in the final output field differentiated from the input fields with a dark green background. This distance to position R2 value can also be adjusted to determine at what distance the sound pressure level would have dropped below a certain value. So keeping in line with our example again, if we want to ensure our equipment item meets an industrial boundary noise limit of 75 dBA, we can keep adjusting the distance until we achieve this. Achieve this. 2 meters gives us an attenuated level of 79 dBA, 3 meters gives us 75.5 dBA, and then if we adjust this slightly to 3.2 meters, we can see that we are now below the limit and are at a level of 74.9 dBA. Therefore, we can see that, in an idealized scenario with a point source and no reflective surfaces or barriers between the source and the boundary location, the new equipment item would need to be located at a minimum of 3.2 meters from the boundary to comply with the boundary limit. Thanks for watching the video. Hopefully this has made the tool even easier to use and expanded your understanding of sound. If your needs go beyond a single point source in an idealized scenario, you will require a specialized assessment conducted in a program such as SoundPlan. Please feel free to contact our acoustic team for a quote.